Here is a prime example of how powerful music is, but more importantly how amazingly this game welds it as a tool for emotional manipulation. We have a creature here that's just goddamn cute as hell, right? But then, look at this. I mean, that's creepy as fuck right there. And then it just gets creepier and creepier and creepier and creepier until this shit is just... That is creepy as hell. One, this guy looks just out. This guy looks just like me. Look at this. We're like, he's like my big brother. And two, he's like got this thing attached to his head and he's con controlling all these things. He's like the brain almost. This like this guy looks like the brain of this of a creature that I'm inside. Put it in 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 an insanely God, what's that artist's name who has like creepy ass um robotic sexual god damn it what's his name I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tell you his name hold on one second I'm gonna be right back okay got the artist's name his name is H.R. Geiger you know after a quick search I'm, I'm not way familiar I'm familiar with the work and I'm just assuming H.R. Geiger is a guy that who developed this type of art style I'll throw up some images when I have some time maybe when I'm doing some editing in this video, but it has, it's a very, the best way I can describe it is like biomechanical, but there's always like this sexual theme, like if, if there's ever a woman in his, in his art, in his art, she's, she's, she has a very voluptuous body, but, but then she's being penetrated by all these different organs, almost like a Japanese tentacle porn, but there's no porn no graphic images and that like penetration or anything like that but it's just this it's really creepy and so I'm like getting that vibe from this right here minus the pornographic images just the creepy images is what I'm getting right here and it all happened well it didn't happen but it was pronounced and it was exceedingly pronounced in my mind because this game just when I was creeping into this room the music went away and so all that flooded my eardrums were these sound effects of this computer and this creature just rampantly and and raciously accessing these these control panels and it was creepy in my mind very 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 creepy I think that's all I have to say well yeah I guess it's cool because they took the music away and so it kind of just changed my mind to it helped my mind transition into what they wanted me to feel which is like whoa look at this place anyway so I'm positive this place is the brain and I am part I am within a huge entity a huge body and this is the brain and the TVs represent images this brain sees and I don't know about the sound though I don't know about sound or touch. I don't know how this represents other, other of the five senses. We see visual, we see computational, but I'm not seeing any touch. S um, there's some sounds, but those don't really represent sounds from the outside world being translated through the ear receptors to the brain. Those are just kind of the sounds of the visual cues, like the computers and such, or the computational cues. So we're still lacking some five sense, some other senses, that or smell too that the brain usually deals with but for the for the purposes of the of the dramatic representation of this image I have right here this is the brain holy shit <laughs> that You can almost hear in the background some type of choking sound. 
Like he's gasping for air. You hear that? That's a creepy, that's an awesome sound effect. Because I just shut everything down. And so, so it's like some creature could be this one right, right that I'm in front of or could be the actual creature within where, where and I reside is now gasping for life because I just shut his fucking brain down. Holy shit. This is just off the hook. Seriously. Throw that in there. Whoops. Throw it in there. Uh, oh, get in there. Whoa, this is off the hookness. Oh, and I'm going to bring that in there. Give it something else. Oh, I'm going to bring this thing in there and, and give it life in a different way. What type of life? Is, how is he going to come into life with this in his hands? Whoa, he's watching me! Look at the screens in the background! Whoa! These are all the scenes that I just played! Everything I've done so far is watching! Holy shit! Why would he be watching me? Was he, was he waving at me? Did I just, did I just reprogram his brain to be me? This is the fucking weirdest thing in the world. The reason this is weird is because this wasn't a puzzle. This was just something I did to further along get this storyline that isn't being communicated to me directly in any way. I could have all easily overlooked that. Oh my god. God. This is so freaking weird. This is hard to like grasp and comprehend right now. He sees the storyline isn't being directly communicated to me, but it's being communicated to me through the environment, which just goes falls in line with the whole environmental theme here. How the environments play a huge part, and we're supposed to go up there. Yep. And how the environments play a huge part. I know I'm supposed to go out there because these lights, they're pointing up. Even though that's a way, weird way of pointing up. Usually it'd be like an arrow or something. Anyways, the environment plays a huge part in how the puzzles are communicated. And now the, the environment communicate how the... communicated me a story. This guy, suddenly I, I, I put this new thing in there. This new energy ball. And now the screens, which supposedly represent eyes or whatnot, show all these different scenes of me playing the game so this creature with it wherein I reside is am I like am I a virus and I'm infecting it to like basically become me so by changing all, around all these different things I'm like causing this creature wherein I reside to just become me I'm like change it's like the equivalent of a virus entering our, our body injecting its its DNA injecting its DNA into one into a cell encoding its DNA into a cell, then that cell basically killing off the body wherein it resides and creating a new body. That's a representation of that newly encoded DNA. This is creepy as shit. This is so awesome. Okay, everyone. Check this out. Okay. Watch this watch this object as I put it into this thing. I'm not letting go of the object though. Look it. It changed color. It's black now. But it it, it goes back to its normal color once I get close to the water. Now it's normal again. But it doesn't go to black here. You know? Isn't this the weirdest thing you ever seen? <laughs> it's weird. It goes black here. What is happening with the shaders here? Is this a shader issue? You know? God, I would give anything to know the technology behind this. Why? 
does this lighten up? Why does the object light up here, but then once I bring it out of this box, it's dark. It actually goes dark. You saw it, it went dark. What's causing this object to go dark and then go up light again? Okay, so is it because I'm taken into a shadowy area and we're just the game's trying to catch up and making it dark? But it's not going... Oh, now it's going dark. What? Why does it take so long? Is it my computer? Is my computer slow? It doesn't look like it's a computer issue. These graphics aren't like off the hook, you know? Very interesting. Why is it taking so long? Fascinating stuff here. I would give anything to know this. You know, that's kind of... I wish I had like a community of people watching this video that could just instantly answer these questions I have. That'd be... It's kind of selfish of me, like, to use, a, to use a community for my own selfish purposes. Yeah, I finally let go of that. You can actually hear me now. It's kind of selfish of me to use, use a community for my own selfish pur purposes. But, man, I just... It's so much work to actually answer this question. I would give anything for people just to answer it for me. So I'm going to figure out a way to take clips of this, upload it to a video. Because there's communities that would, they'd answer for me. They'd straight up answer it for me. I'm going to do that. Like there's game dev sites. I'm just going to upload a, a clip of this and say, hey, could there, I, a, I pose a question, a, 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 you know, at minute blah, 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 to minute blah, blah, blah. Could please someone answer this question? Oh, I'm so going to do that. That's an interesting way of connecting to, with people. I'm so going to do that. Yes, can't wait to connect with people that way. I love it. So dark. Ah, there we go. So I got I got a I got a, an, an edit. This is a this is a an ed I'm editing a video that I'm currently editing. Following me? I said something in this very, very video just minutes before that I'm now editing with this video. But it's part of that video. I said that H.R. Geiger's work is not pornographic <laughs> but it's very pornographic I, I just just go to you go to Google type in HR Geiger go to the images and you're gonna see straight up triple X pornographic images because it's not real life images you know because you're not because it's not from X hamster or red tube whatever site you frequent it's passable. It's permissible on this on on the internet, like on something like that where anyone can access it. But they're, li they're it's straight up pornographic images. There's one where it just shows, it, like he created the aliens characters and he won lots of awards for that. But there's one where it has the alien. You know, like aliens have this like a a tongue that comes out. Well, instead of that tongue, it's a penis. <laughs> penis is coming out of the alien's mouth. It's a straight up fleshy penis, like a, a spongy penis. You just like like that, and and then there's one where it shows just it's like a it's like a a row of asses of just plump asses, and then each ass is somehow turns into a member that is inserted into the ass above it. I can't even explain it. It's not the asshole, it's the vagina. So it's, pen it's vaginal penetration. Oh. I'm just, I can't get the image right to explain it to you. Just, I want to edit this video by saying he is straight pornographic and he shows penetration. Clearly. But since it's artistic, it's permissible. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs>